My name is Bambina Lee, and welcome to On The Mend, the show where we are working on something new or we are restoring something old, and it is on the mend just like we are on the mend. I appreciate you um, following me, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and push that button. I'm so glad that you're here today, and I appreciate all of you who prayed for me. It's been a while since I've done a show. I appreciate your patience in that. Today we're going to be working with a pie pumpkin, and I have acrylic paint. Uh, it is the Apple Barrel brand. You can purchase that at Walmart, and I'm working with Burnt Umber. I'm working with Sunny Day. I'm also working with New Shamrock and Leaf, Palm Leaf Green. Okay? All right, those are the colors today. Uh, today's message is going to be about seed because this is a perfect time to talk about that right with the harvest and everything and Thanksgiving coming up and this pumpkin started out as a seed and so I thought it was rather appropriate but I, I have a message about a seed that's been on my heart so we first see that a seed is a very small small little thing and of course you know how to grow things. You put them in the ground. So a seed needs soil. It needs good soil. It needs soil that has um, good nutrients. So we want to plant our seed into fertile soil. So I'm just going to paint a little seed right here just to represent that. It's a little seed. And I thought about, you know, the seed, how amazing it is. It completely breaks open and basically dies to the self that it once was. And it becomes something completely new. Something uh, transformed, you might say. So I've painted a little seed, just a tiny little seed. Okay, and I'm going to put that in the soil. So I'm going to take this burnt umber. I forgot to pour that. apologize. So I'm going to pour that a little bit. At least I'm going to hope to. It doesn't want to come out of the jar. We don't have perfection on the show, do we? No, we're not into perfection. We're just into doing something beautiful and doing it fun. So just going to go the old-fashioned way, right out of the pot, right there, okay. I don't really like the consistency of that paint, so what you can do when you have paint that um, you think is too thin, you think it's too runny, uh, you can take it and mix it with a paint that's a lot thicker. Right now I am mixing it. This other brown that I have, let's see, and this one's from Folk Art, and it's antiquing, it says, Folk Art Antiquing. Uh, it's water-based acrylic, and it's called Apple Butter Brown. So let's try that one. I like that one better, I think. There we go, much, much thicker paint. So that's going to work much better for our project. So we live and we learn, right? Yeah. I'm going to put the, the seed, basically going to put a line here for it to be in the soil. All right. And it's just going to grow right here in this nutrient-filled soil. Now you might think this is a little unusual, but I do have a point. I am getting somewhere, I promise. Okay. So the seed is in the soil and it breaks open and basically dies to its old self in order to be transformed into something new, in order to fulfill its purpose, okay? Now, you and I both know that you can eat a seed. Most seeds are just fine to eat, pumpkin seeds, but in a, uh, you know, people eat those. Sometimes they roast them even. Um, I haven't tried that, but I hear it's good. 
In this case though, this is not going to be a pumpkin seed. We're going to say that this little seed in the dirt, we're going to say this represents a sunflower seed. Okay? All right. And you know, you can eat sunflower seeds. They're actually one of my favorites. So this is a sunflower seed and it's going to break open and it's going to no longer be a seed, but it is going to sprout. Okay? It's going to sprout open and grow a little stem coming up out of the ground, just like this. We have a purpose for all this. And the seed is going to live out its purpose right now. It's breaking open and forming something. See this now? We have a sprout, right? So the seed breaks open willing to do so because it's got all the nutrients it needs in this good surroundment, uh, surrounding, in this good environment. It's got all the nutrients it needs. It's had sunlight. It's had water. It's had everything. So it decided, okay, I'm going to sprout out and I'm going to become something new. Yeah, it's designed to do that. So it's going to come up and grow with the sunshine and the water. Days go by bigger and taller and if you have ever seen how gorgeous and tall sunflower seeds can I mean sunflowers um, can get they are towering just huge beautiful towering plants and I love them because I think uh, I think they just have this really cool special nature they when they are uh, bloomed they turn their their face, their flowering bloomed face, turns toward the sun. I think that's quite appropriate too for this message I'm, I'm telling today. So um, this thing has grown really tall, really big with time. We gotta make sure we emphasize the fact that it did take time and it took nourishment from the sun nourishment from the soil it took some patience you know if anyone's growing a plant or growing um, you know any kind of flower any kind of vegetable any kind of crop you're waiting on you can't just expect it to be the very next day right I mean it's not gonna happen it doesn't work like that it has to have the right environment it has to have the right nurturing See, we've got this going on. It's getting bigger. Okay. It's got to have all those things in order for it to flourish and do well. So you say, well, what in the world are you talking about? Why are you talking about this today? Well, let me just tell you. When I think about the seed, I think about the seed that you and I are in this earth. That's right. You're a seed. Every gift that you have, Everything that you do um, that blesses other people, every joyful smile you give to a stranger, um, every act of kindness that you decide that you want to partake in, you are a seed. You're planting seeds everywhere you go. And that's, a, that's the reason I chose this uh, beautiful flowers because a sunflower makes many, many, many more sunflower seeds. So this one little seed can make a multitude of seeds. So you are a seed in this earth that came, was born, and as you grow, you have learned to let go of selfishness, you have learned to let go of childish ways as you've grown. You don't behave the same immature way that you did when you were a babe, when you were a child. You have hopefully grown in character and become a nice person who tries to brighten someone else's day. So when you're brightening someone else's day, when you are shining on their day, you are actually planting seeds of joy into their heart 
into their life. You are actually um, giving them love. And love is a seed. And you are spreading that everywhere you go. And this sunflower seed here is a, just a symbol of that. I look at them and I think, wow, you know, this big flower, it feeds the bees. And it feeds us when we get the seeds from it. And they're very healthy. I love them. Um, but it also brings me joy. When I see these big yellow flowers, they just bring me joy. They just make me just smile. Because I think, wow, look how big they are. Look how tall they are, look how majestic, and how smart they are to point themselves right to the sun. And that's how smart we need to be. We need to point ourselves to the Son of God in order for us to be beautifully um, expressing His love. We point ourselves toward Him. We focus on Him and His love for us. And then we begin to love ourselves. And it's only then that we can then love other people. We can let it flow from us and we can sow those seeds that, of love that are inside of us, that he's planted inside of us. We can sow those seeds out to someone else and joyful, um, make their life joyful and just, it could be singing, you could make a joyful noise, you could be singing, you could be painting, you could be uh, just sharing um, what you believe, what you feel like I'm doing right now. I didn't used to do this. I was scared to do this. I'm no longer scared. I asked God to help me. And now I'm just doing this out of love for you all. I'm just so grateful to be able to do it. Um, but if you if you say, well, I'm not artistic. I don't know what I can do. You can smile. I bet you have a beautiful smile. And you can uh, take the groceries in for someone who maybe can't do it or has trouble. You can give someone a ride if you have a car and you know someone needs a lift. You can do any act of kindness that you see the need for. And the world is hurting and the world is full of need. So I know that if you put your mind to it and focus and you just look around you, you'll see there's a need you can meet. And you know, you're made unique. You know, you are different. You are special. You have a fingerprint all your own. And your ability to meet needs is different than anyone else's that's ever been created. There is something God would have for you to do. And you can ask him. He's wonderful. He'll tell you. He'll show you. What brings you joy brings him joy. And guess what? I guarantee it brings someone else joy. So I just wanted to paint this today in reminder of the harvest that we've got. If we decide that we want to, instead of eat our seed, so to keep our gifts and our love all to ourselves, if we decide that we want to plant it and we want to let it grow and we want it to bless other people, I just wanted to do this as a reminder that it creates something beautiful, life-changing for us and for other people. We decide to give and let the harvest be grown in us. You're going to reap a harvest. It's going to be friendship. It's going to be love. It's going to be joy. Because there's nothing in the world feels as amazing as giving. Nothing in the world feels as good as taking the focus off of ourselves and putting it onto someone else. That's where happiness is. Us being able to give. That's how we're designed. So I just wanted to share this with you all today. And I think I'm going to paint the words on here. Happy Harvest. Let's see if I can do that. This little brush, I don't think that's the right brush. Sometimes you pick up a brush and, you know, you don't have to commit to it. That one was way too thick for me to paint the words. So I'm going to paint the words Happy and This is going to be a centerpiece for our Thanksgiving table. And what is Thanksgiving about? It's about being thankful, right? Being thankful for everything that we have. The most valuable thing that we have is our relationships. Our relationships with God and our relationships with each other. It's the most valuable thing that we have. The love that we have in our hearts is the most valuable thing. And if we choose to give it away, it just keeps growing. And it makes a big harvest. People's lives are changed. 
all because you just decided you weren't going to keep your wonderful self to yourself. You decided to go out, spread a little love, bring a little joy. Let God do the rest. You don't have to worry about how the seed grows. You know, the farmer's not sitting out there watching that seed, waiting for it to pop out of the ground. No, no, no. The farmer trusts God. He trusts the rain to come. He trusts the sun to be there. And he doesn't sit there and worry about that seed. He's a smart farmer. He just gives it to God and says, okay, I planted it. I did my part. God does the rest. So here we are with our nice centerpiece. Happy harvest. And I just want to say happy harvest to all of you. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Thank you for joining me today. Please subscribe and keep following. I appreciate you. And just remember, you are beautiful. You are loved. You are forgiven. Have a wonderful day.